Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Brian. And we are Drinking, Drinking in, in the, the basement. basement. Well, here we are at the Antioch Fine Wine and Liquors Spring Wine Tasting. About 140 oh, wines over there today. 130, 140 wines. But if you're watching this, you've already missed it. Fortunately, on May 7th, from 12 to 4 p.m., we're going to have the best of the spring wine tasting. Don't miss that if you're not here today. Anyway, before we go to the tasting, our Buffalo Trace Barrel ride. This is the actual bar barrel that the bourbon was aged in. We still have the tasting uh, we have the tasting bottle. Uh, we, have, we have three different sizes of uh, Buffalo Trace. We have 375s, they're $12.99. We have 750s, they're $25.99. And we have uh, 175s, are $54.99. And if you come and find Adam in the store and mention uh, drinking in the basement, I'm sure you can get a better deal on some of the Buffalo Trace bottles. All right, so now what do you think? Let's go I think we should go over and try some wine. All right, so here we are at the tasting. It's kind of crowded, and people are walking by, as you can see. So we're just going to get some wine and go try it uh, maybe off to the side. Brian, let's get some uh, Fest Park or Big Easy. Fest Parker, the Big Easy. I'm ready. All right. We're at the Fest Parker, the Big Easy Syrah. I think Brian's had this before, although this may be a new vintage. This is 2007. I, I had the 06. I've still 06 at home. I think it's new label. In honor of the great best partner who passed away recently. Excellent. Full fruit, rich nose. Definitely good value for a wine under $30. Yeah, this is really nice. One of the best wines I've ever tasted. Definitely better than the Disney Better, wine than, than, the box wine. better than the box wines. I, like. I definitely say that it's true. We got a very uh, nice pour from Jackie from Pure Wine Company. Uh, take table number one. All right, let's finish this up and go on to the next one. Very good. Here we have a bird's eye view of the tasting. Starting to get crowded. Let's get some more wine. Got six is next. So we can't seem to get away from it. As you see, we're standing now by the Peter Villa front. And the Franzi, the, our box wine friends from a prior episode. Yeah. But in our glass, as you saw, we have got six. So let's give it a try. Nice big nose. Cabernet nose, rich fruit. God six is a Nanapa Valley Cabernet. Also, really nice wine. Excellent. Very good. And we opened uh, this about an hour before we started, so uh, it's just to do that because this is a pretty big wine. And it's a uh, you know it's all sale today at the tasting for thirty five dollars, thirty four ninety nine. All right, let's go to the next one. All right. Your favorite wines. The Dornfelder Slink House and the Whip Sauvignon Blanc. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the uh, the next wine we have here to taste is actually a white wine, the 2009 Bornheimer Heidelberg. It's a Riesling from Germany. You recall from our Disney adventure, uh, one of the wines we were tasting was from the country of Germany. We weren't too uh, friendly uh, to the German wines from Epcot. Oh, of course, that was just a Spätle, so it was just a big designation where the grapes were picked. Uh, it didn't say what grapes were in it. This is a Spätle grape. So, uh, nice citrus. Apple. Green apple. Yeah. <laughs> Rich, whole, creamy, green apple. Excellent. Just okay, really, it's really nice and clean. For sub fifteen dollars. Yeah, it's a nice wine, much better than the ones we had at Disney. And by the way, we happen to be right next to where they got six. It's located on the shelf. How do you like that? While supplies last. That's right. Um, all right, so uh, German wine does not have to be terrible like it was in Disney. Uh, so come and see us, and we'll get you quality German wine. All right, so let's move on to what's next. What's your favorite wine at the tasting? I would say the uh, Pasta Malbec. The Wira Wira. All right, and, and as you can heart. see, there's a lot of wines that they like. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. 
All right, so the next wine we're going to be tasting is Con Creek Cabernet. A limited release from Napa Valley 2006. It's a limited release because it's a blend, I'm told, of all 15 Napa Valley Appalachians. Can you name them? Uh, no. But perhaps the guy who was filming us can. Uh, maybe not. So a little bit lighter than the Got Six from a from the C. Yeah, this, this is this one is twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine, so also a little less money. It's still a traditional Cabernet yeah, Nova. Cabernet. We're doing a lot of Napa Valley uh, wine. Yeah, we did German. We just did the German wine for uh, Riesling. Good front, a little tannic on the back. Hasn't opened up quite. Uh, yeah, needs a little, little bit more air, but all all the ingredients are there for a really, really good wine, especially in the, the, the sub twenty dollar range. And there's no six, so it has a little bit of age on it. All right, um, I guess let's move on. Wait, there's something. Maybe let's go find Joe who sells this wine. Maybe we can get her on video. That's a good idea. All our tasters look like Joe. So here we are by Joe. Joe sells us the Con Creek. All of our tastings look like this. The Buffalo Trace. Which My one? My favorite was the Han GSM. Yeah, the Han GSM, all right. Really good. Nice and jammy, right? And jammy, and not many cases left. We'll get it now. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Next is the grinder. Pinotage. Oh, very cool. South African. Let's go where we can taste it. So here we are with the grinder. It's a pinotage, a South African wine. Uh, and a pinotage is a is a, a blend or a, or a hybrid grape of Pinot Noir and Cinso. It's South African's signature grape. And we want to thank Brendan for giving us that information. Yes. Thank you, Brendan. We had to look it up. Brendan knew right off the top of his head. Right, so this, this smells coffee. Coffee, absolutely coffee. So wine can be anything. Coffee. I'm not a big fan of coffee. I don't drink it at all. Uh, Brendan has about uh, six to eight cups every day. Coffee you should be with him in the morning. I should. Coffee and chocolate. This is coffee and chocolate. Actually, for what, twelve dollars, thirteen dollars? It's not a bad okay. glass of wine. Again, you know, I'm not crazy about coffee, so this is not something that I would necessarily drink. Yeah. Well, um, this would go very good with smoked rib barbecue. Excellent barbecue wine. Did you get that off the bottle? Perhaps. I see Tony is uh, waving behind me. So I guess we'll go see what Tony wants. So what was your favorite wine at today's tasting? Oh, my favorite wine was the GSM. Makes you louder. Han. The Han, the GSM Red Blend. And we also had the engraver. Uh, and it's where this is at. So you can see, you can get your uh, name or whatever you want engraved on the bottles. No extra charge. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. So here we are back at the uh, spring wine tasting with Adam sampling uh, our Buffalo Trace bourbon barrel. That's my <laughs> All right, so this time we're tasting Dead Man Zin. You got that in the picture there? All right, cool. As you can see, it's got some cards on it, so how could it be bad? So I 95 love to play cards. 95% Zinfandel, 5% uh, Petite Syrah. It's going to have some backbone in it from Napa Valley. Rich Grease knows of his infidel. No coffee. I'll tell you that much. A little bit lighter. It's a light taste, light. but smooth. Smooth. We are at a tasting live in a store, so customers walking back and forth. Good for Zin. What's the price of this, Adam? This one's $21.99. Uh, I'm going to say that the ones we tried. Standard, Best really Parker. Like God, Best Parker would probably be my two favorites. And the Riesling was great too. The Riesling was nice as well. Um, so if you want to try some of the wines we have or try the top 10, uh, May 7th, 12 to 4 p.m., um, we'll do the best of the best. And our up another upcoming episode, probably the next episode, we're filming Retro Beers, Schlitz, Pabst Blue Ribbon, Miller Highlight, Old Milwaukee. It should be fun, at least for me. I have a surprise to finish off that tasting, but you'll have to watch to see what it is. Excellent. Anyway, till next time, we are Drinking, drinking in, in the, the Basement. basement. And any other fine wine and liquors. And thanks to Brendan who filmed us today at on location at Antioch Fine Wine and Liquors.